PDP queries Supreme Court refusal to hear its application on Emeka Ihedioha. The major opposition People's Democratic Party PDP has expressed concern that seven months after it applied to the Supreme Court to give effect to its judgment delivered on December 20, 2019, which disqualified Uche Owonsu from participating in the March 9, 2019 governorship election in Imo State on the ground of double nomination. The APS Court is yet to list the application for hearing. The Supreme Court had in a judgment delivered on December 20, 2019, found that Wosu was nominated by both Action Alliance AA and the All Progressive Congress APC and consequently nullified his nomination. However, in another judgment delivered on January 14, 2020, in SE-462-2019, the APS Court, without making reference to its earlier judgment referred to above, declared Hope Ozodima the winner of the Imo State gubernatorial election on the platform of the same APC that has been found to nominate Uwosu. As shown in the stamped copy of the application, the APS Court duly received the application on July 9, 2020, but it could not give any response as to why it has refused to list it for hearing. But some analysts are raising questions whether any particular political party has the right, according to the new electoral law, as amended to sponsor two candidates for the same office in the same election, which informed the decision of PDP to file an application at the Supreme Court seeking that its candidate in the Imo State 2019 governorship election, Emeka Ihedioha, be declared winner since APC is precluded from sponsoring two candidates for one election. In an affidavit filed in support of the application, which was disposed to by Ade Damola Farouk, Esquire, a legal practitioner working in the legal department of the PDP, he averred thus, The third respondent and applicant PDP is neither in any way seeking a review of the valid, substituting, and well-considered judgment of this court delivered in this appeal, nor seeking a review of the judgment of this court delivered on January 14, 2020, in the suit filed SC-462-2019, but humbly seeking that this court gives effect to its judgment delivered on December 20th of 2019, that this court has the constitutional inherent powers and jurisdiction to grant the reliefs sought and give effect to its judgment that in the interest of the justice for this court to exercise its wide discretionary power in favor of granting this application as prayed. In the application filed on behalf of the PDP by Philip Umedi, the party is asking the court to declare that Hope Ozodima was not the candidate of the APC based on the court's judgment that both the APC and the AA nominated in Wosu. PDP is also asking the court for an order enforcing or otherwise directing the enforcement and or giving effect to the judgment of the court in the case delivered on December 20th, 2019, wherein the court held that Uwosu was nominated by both APC and AA and consequently declared his nomination in nullity. PDP is asking of the Supreme Court to hold both that the AA and APC did not sponsor or and field any candidate for the governorship election held in Imo State in 2019 in view of the double nomination of the appellant and responded by two political parties aforesaid and his subsequent disqualification as their gubernatorial candidate as found by the Honorable Court in the judgment delivered on 20th of December 2019. The party also asked the court for an order sequel to the above that Ozadima was not a candidate by himself or of any party at the Imo State governorship election held in March 2019. PDP also asked the court for an order directing the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to withdraw the certificate of return issued to Governor Hope Ozodima. It asked the court for an order further directing the fourth respondent to issue a certificate of return to the gubernatorial candidate of the third respondent and applicant, Right Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, in the Imo State Governorship election as the duly elected governor, having scored the second highest number of votes in the said election sequel to the judgment of this court in appeal number SC-1462-2019, 
Hope was Odima and Honors versus Right Honorable Emeka Ihedioha and others delivered on the 14th of January 2020. The party further sought an order sequel to the above, directing that the said gubernatorial candidate of the third responded and applicant in the Imo State Governorship election, Ihedioha, be immediately sworn in as the governor. PDP stated the grant for the application. Thus, the court found that the appellant and respondent were nominated by both APC and AA as their gubernatorial candidate for the Imo State Governorship election and conclusively held that he was disqualified by the provisions of Section 37 of the Electoral Act as amended for double nomination. That thereafter, the said election, Ihedioha was returned by the fourth respondent as the winner of the election and consequently sworn into office. That subsequently, the return of the governorship candidate of the third respondent and applicant was challenged up to this court by one Senator Hopo Zodima, who claimed to be the gubernatorial candidate of APC. That this court in the judgment delivered on the 14th of January 2020 held that it was the said Ozodima and Ihedioha that scored the highest number of votes in the election and ought to be returned as the duly elected governor of Imo State. That by the clear terms of the judgment in this appeal, neither the AA nor the APC fielded any candidate for the Imo State governorship election held on March 9, 2019, and as such, Ozodima could not have been returned as the winner of the election as a candidate of APC. PDP also posted that APC could not have substituted the appellant with a view to further nominating Ozodima as its candidate because that right was not available to the party under the Electoral Act. It also claimed that Ozodima could not have been a candidate in the election as an independent candidate as such, right is not available to him, and as the third respondent and applicant, the PDP, as the main beneficiary of the judgment, ought to enjoy the fruits of the judgment. It also states that Ihedioha, who is the candidate nominated by the third respondent and applicant, and who scored the second highest number of votes after Uzodima from the judgment of the court, ought therefore to be issued a certificate of return by the fourth respondent and sworn in accordingly. It said such a decision will advance the course of justice to grant the application, particularly as none of the parties will be prejudiced by its grant. Although the suit was filed on July 9, 2020, the APS court is yet to consider it for hearing. All of this goes to show that our, our politics in Nigeria, the kind of politics they play, is far from being fair. Elections, far from being fair and credible. We've heard it all interesting anyway guys let's hear your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless